We're talking about some trade ideas on today's show. Shout out Kinzuri for sponsoring the show. You can get 15% off if you go to Kinzuri.com slash chat promo code chat uh, to get your height boosting shoes. We'll tell you more about them later on in today's show. Again, today's show about some blockbuster trade ideas. A lot of players that we've seen in trade rumors, could they get moved and where could they get moved and what will that trade look like? We'll break down some ideas on today's show. Which player do you want to see traded? Let me know down in the comments section. Uh, I'm going to say DeAndre Hopkins because uh, I just don't think it's happening in Arizona. I don't think the Cardinals are going to be that good next season. And I want to see D Hop uh, have a shot to win a ring, man. I mean, he didn't do that in Houston. Uh, I don't think he's going to do that in Arizona. And he's been in trade rumors all offseason. But he hinted last week that he didn't necessarily want to leave. He was asked, well, I never said I wanted to leave is what he said. Some possible destinations, though, if he gets traded, include the Buffalo Bills, the New York Giants, and the Kansas City Chiefs. And that brings me to our first trade idea. Here is what I think a DeAndre Hopkins trade to Kansas City would look like. The Chiefs get DeAndre Hopkins, who would be their new number one wide receiver. The Cardinals get a fourth-round pick next year, a fifth-round pick the year following. And if the Chiefs only had to give up some mid-round picks, uh, just one 2024 pick to get DeAndre Hopkins, uh, they should absolutely do it. The Chiefs should go all in. A lot of people were expecting Kansas City to take a wide receiver in round one. I think some of their guys they were looking at were off the board. They went with uh, Felix DK Uzama, who was a great selection. Uh, but when you look at this Chiefs wide receiver room, yeah, you brought Rasheed Rice in. Uh, but you don't know how he's going to perform as a rookie. And if you want uh, some more weapons here for Patrick Mahomes, the best quarterback in the league, you should go get him DeAndre Hopkins. I think uh, that Mahomes would be thrilled if you added DeAndre Hopkins to this wide receiver room. Will D-Hop get traded? Type Y for yes or type in for no down in the comment section. Uh, go down and let me know. I'm going to say yes. I know that... The trade rumors have kind of cooled off here, uh, but I do believe DeAndre Hopkins is going to get traded before the season. Get to our second trade. It might be the most juicy trade idea here. So we've talked about this swap before on both our Miami Dolphins and Minnesota Vikings channels here because it would make sense for both teams. The Dolphins, they could maybe use another running back. They had the 27th ranked rushing offense last year. Meanwhile, the Vikings could certainly use some cornerback help. So this is a straight-up swap. Dolphins receive Dalvin Cook, and the Vikings receive Xavier Howard, the uh, four-time Pro Bowl corner. Now, I will say, uh, Howard's contract makes this deal almost impossible. Uh, he is owed nearly $74 million over the next four years. So I don't know if, if the Vikings would want to eat that, or maybe the Dolphins would kind of eat that if uh, this trade went down. But the Dolphins did draft Cam Smith uh, out of South Carolina. I think that trade shocked a lot of people, or that draft pick shocked a lot of people. And there's been some talk that, man, could Xavier Howard get traded after they draft Cam Smith? I don't think so. Uh, but you do add a solid young corner to that room. So we'll see what happens. And uh, Dalvin Cook continues to get linked to the Dolphins. When the Dolphins drafted Devon A-Chain, I thought there was no shot that Dalvin Cook uh, would still be Miami bound, but the Dolphins have been linked to him still. Mike McDaniel was asked at the Miami Heat game the other day. He said, would you rule out adding a running back? He said no. So it's still possible the Dolphins get Cook. This trade right here fills needs for both teams. So it could be a win-win type of situation. Who says no to this trade? Type MIA for the Dolphins or MIN for the Vikings down in the comments section. I think it's going to be the Vikings just because of Howard's contract, but they are kind of in desperate need of cornerback help, number one. Number two, Brian Flores, the new defensive coordinator in Minnesota, would be reunited with Xavier Howard. X had the best seasons of his career under Brian Flores. He was not as good this past season, uh, so that is worth noting. Today's show is sponsored by Kinzuri. Fellas, are you tired of feeling insecure about your height? Kinzuri makes shoes that can add up to 2.8 inches to your height discreetly. Women get heels, makeup, and push-up bras 
why can't men get a confidence boost as well? We're all the same height lying down anyway, if you know what I mean. Kanzuri shoes are not only height boosting, but also stylish and comfortable. They're not grandpa's Velcro shoes, but fashionable shoes that can receive compliments even without the height increase. The height insoles are integrated into the shoes, making it the ultimate height hack. For a limited time, Kanzuri is offering our viewers an exclusive discount of 15% off on top of their up to 30% site-wide discount. Use code chat at kanzuri.com slash chat to get your 45% off. Don't wait any longer. Upgrade your shoe game and confidence now at con. Z-U-R-I dot com slash chat. When I want to get high, I put on a pair of Kanzuri's. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. Kanzuri dot com slash chat. Promo code chat. Go and pick up your height boosting shoes today. Let's get in to the third trade idea here. This is interesting. This is another swap, right? You're seeing two star players kind of move for one another. Uh, you can call Joe Mixon. I don't know if you can call him a star anymore, but he's a, he's a decent player. Titans receive Joe Mixon and a second round pick. The Bengals receive Derrick Henry and a six round pick. Joe Mixon, he's been in some uh, rumors in Cincinnati, could potentially be a cap casualty uh, with the Bengals before the start of the season. Henry also has been in some trade rumors. Taking a look at the numbers here, over 1,500 yards in 16 games last season, 13 touchdowns in my opinion. Still a top three running back in the National Football League. And can you imagine him in the Cincinnati offense? I mean, my goodness. Joe Burrow's your quarterback. Derrick Henry's RB1. And then Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and Tyler Boyd as your receivers? That is a Super Bowl team right there. I think the Bengals would be the Super Bowl favorites if they got Derrick Henry. I mean, having the luxury of, of Joe Burrow or Derrick Henry kind of deciding uh, which guy to put the <laughs> which guy to put the, the ball uh, in their hands on each play, that would be unbelievable. And I think the Bengals uh, would be the Super Bowl favorites if they landed uh, Derrick Henry. Maybe Austin Eckler as well. That's someone else that we've seen linked to Cincinnati. Fourth trade idea here, Quinny Williams, we've talked about him as a possible trade candidate in New York. Extension talks not going too well, apparently. The Saints really need defensive tackle help. The Jets, they have Brees Hall, but they could still add to that running back room. Really no one behind Brees Hall that stands out. So in this trade idea, the Saints get Quinny Williams in a six-round pick. The Jets get Alvin Kamara, a second-round pick, and a fourth-round pick. That's the Hall. But Quinn Williams is a top three defensive tackle in this league. That is what it's going to take to get him maybe even more than that. 55 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, 28 QB hits, 12 sacks this past season for the Jet Star. You have Cameron Jordan here. Uh, you drafted Brian Bercy, but this, this defensive line could still get a lot better. Uh, you lose Marcus Davenport, you lose David Onyemata. Uh, so this Saints uh, defensive line can certainly improve. You do that by getting Williams. Now, will he get traded? I don't think so. But again, these are just ideas. Our fifth and final trade idea here. Trey Lance rumors have not been as loud recently because the two teams he was linked to the most were the Houston Texans, who drafted C.J. Stroud, and the Tennessee Titans, who drafted Will Levis. But the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did not draft a quarterback. I was a little bit surprised by that. So how about this? The Niners get a fourth-round pick, and the Bucks get Trey Lance, who could compete with Baker Mayfield and Kyle Trask for that job. Now, when you're talking about trading Lance, though, I do think the 49ers should hold on to him for now. If you get to the start of the season and Brock Purdy's fully healthy and he looks great in camp and he looks great in the preseason, then I would feel comfortable trading Trey Lance. I do not feel comfortable trading Trey Lance now if I am the Niners. Now, He's not really proven uh, the former number three overall pick. He's a great player, great talent, uh, but he's just not proven, and that's why his trade value is probably only a fourth-round pick. Nearly 800 passing yards, five touchdowns, three picks, and four starts for Trey Lance. Which trade idea was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments section. Type one, two, three, four, or five. Some juicy trade ideas that we just went over here on the channel.